Good morning. Today is Wednesday, June 5th. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, June 5th. Uh, my name is Ymir. Also, I'm an almond. Also, almond M and M's here on Instagram. On um, here on YouTube, Instagram, and all the goodies. Enough with the introductions. Today is a uh, Wednesday hump day, June 5th, and we are here for our weekly iced coffee and chat slash sip and stitch per se. Um, still haven't figured out what to call it. I've had a few suggestions, so I'm going to go uh, through that um, and eventually figure it out. We'll fall, we'll fall into place eventually, right? Um, I told you the date. I told you my name. Did I tell you it is StitchCon Eve? I'm so excited. Um, I do have to work today a full day, and then I have to figure out this... Uh, bird's nest after and then i have to pack and all that good stuff and then i leave in the morning uh usually i pack in the morning before i leave but this time um i want a good night's sleep uh because usually i just stay up before i fly out uh, to anywhere and i'm a little bit I usually i give myself a little bit of anxiety over that or Maybe I just don't want to oversleep, but this time I'm going to get a good night's sleep, have everything ready to go. Hopefully I'm asleep by midnight so I can catch my like, I think it's like a 6 a.m. flight. I don't know. Usually I only need like three or four hours of sleep, so fingers crossed. Um, I'm sitting on the floor because I need to figure out this layout. Um. Uh, yeah, there were a few questions from last week's videos and um, I've had, actually I'm super wrinkled, but do I care? No, I don't. Um, there are a few questions from last week's videos, plus like I have had questions along Instagram and all that good stuff. So I figured, uh, because I still don't have any stitching to show, um, and I wanted to get this video out earlier in the day, um, so I won't show you what I'm taking with me. So I'll do like a full like floss tube when I come back, blah, 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 blah. Um, I figured I would just like answer questions and just kind of like give you a little bit of like a recap summary. Like I know a few of you have inquired about this like race that I did and all that good stuff. So I guess it's going to be more of a like running recap situation um slash a stitchy conversation because um yeah why not um okay so let's start from the beginning did i show you my coffee um i don't know if it's correct to say but drinking these coffees feel like um and correct me if it's correct to say i don't know if that's like not good it feels like a roulette if you know the first word that i'm going by um because like i said my story last week i found a whole bunch of coffee and uh long story short i don't know what any of them do and in the essence of saving space i took a whole bunch of different ones out of the boxes and i put it all in a bag so usually i just dig and like pop it in a machine so sometimes i'm a tasmanian devil and then other times i'm zonked out somewhere so i do not know what's gonna happen but i feel like this one uh might have me on a up so we'll see uh i will uh what's the word uh, report back to you so yeah oh i got hiccups um did i tell you i'm sitting on the floor until i figure out my uh layout situation um i need to figure it out but i can't sit like legs crossed that much because I'm having issues with my knees um, which goes back to let's chat about uh, some of the questions that arise arose arise uh, during um, the past few weeks 
basically months as well because I had my race in March, at the ending of March. Um, so long story short, uh, and I, I think I've said it before, I really don't want to have this be a uh, running channel conversation um i'll definitely sprinkle it in when the good things are happening that involves stitching as well but i think some of you need a uh kind of like an update and kind of like a figure out like what is ymir doing because ymir is going to be doing this a lot of times so brace yourselves uh athena and that group of ladies i'm gonna continue giving you all heart attacks so um yeah um so long story short as you all know uh, uh like a little bit over a year ago i had some personal issues and you know i kind of went down the rabbit hole um and in order to sort of dig myself up i decided to kind of um diver and go to you know join like a running community um to help with like all the personal things along with grief and like all that good stuff so it's been fun it's been great like i've met a lot of like awesome people uh people that like are now like my family same way where you know you all are my stitchy family i also have a running family um so long story short i met them we i just kept on going to a lot of the like group runs and all that good stuff we trained together and socialized together went from race to race to race to race and then um last year was pretty much my first year of like racing of pretty much everything um i would casually run here and there but uh last year was like my formal like you're running crossing a finish line there's a goal you're wearing a bib like all that good stuff so last year was pretty much a year of like learning the sport for me oh why is my nose like this um and i shut off the ac so like i feel like i'm melting in here so we'll see how long i last you'll probably see me like sweating and then that would mean that i would probably have to take another shower before i leave for work right um yeah so that's pretty much what happened last year um i'm no pro no expert but with that being said um <clears throat> throughout the year i would apply to a lot of these races um and you know the main ones were like kind of like the shorter distance races and then i just kind of quickly escalated into like the longer distance marathon ultra marathons and all that good stuff and it's primarily because i was told that i couldn't do it um it was very much like what is it it's not the boys rule the uh, girls drool boys rule whatever thing but like it was very much like you can't do this boys rule girls drool type thing even though i think the saying is backwards um so it's pretty much if you tell me i can't do something i'm gonna do it you know the same thing this is why i stitch on 56 count one over one um because a lot of you know one i didn't know and two like once i found out that it was like small and like impossible i'm just like nope it is possible i'm gonna do it um so i quickly just started signing up for a lot of these super long races that unless you're like properly trained you won't be able to like really enjoy it i say i i would say um which I think it's not true. Um, at the ending of December, I started doing like more like longer distances, like 50 miles, etc. Which, oh my God, my eyes are dry. Um, which kind of that's where the stitch and chat uh, hashtag came along from. Um, and I'm very, 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 what is it? I hold my... I'm very responsible for not really promoting it that much or just being like, hey, stitch and run and stitch or whatever. Mainly because I didn't, I don't want to like put this as a 
burden on you all like oh you know here's another race that you're seeing or whatever but i guess some of you are just kind of like yeah like i want to see a different format um still gr uh what is it grappling or still trying to figure out like what's the best way to like deliver it to you all instead of it being like so like in your face because i'm conscious this is like a crafty uh a crafty platform for me it's not mainly like you know like every five minutes like here's your workout for the day blah 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 um so i've chosen to really stay like a little bit like reserved back and i'll show like bits and pictures and you know things like that but i feel like you all keep on asking for more so i need to like either like figure out a way to really mesh both um i don't know but definitely i feel like the way i i'm thinking of going down the rabbit of the the route path is probably like still leveraging the like stitch and run um hashtag and all that good stuff um but uh rewinding back um last year i went did the new york city marathon immediately had like a 50 mile ultra which um there were a group of ladies that like followed me throughout the whole way um they checked in they like took like a picture every hour of like their stitching progress and all that good stuff and it wasn't like something like super like you know uh what's the word like so like largely broadcasted but it was like a great feeling that like even though i was running i would see like the notifications pop up and it was like oh my god like they're watching like you know they're they're tracking like you know i'm getting progress obviously running and they're getting progress um you know like stitching and all that good stuff so that was like a good trial run type thing and i think you know if i figure out a way to do it better like it would or will uh morph into something like more like formal but going back to uh if you can't tell i'm telling you the story of how i ended up running 340 miles in the desert um so while all of the uh marathon training and all that good stuff plus ultra training i signed up for a 340 mile race running from santa monica pier in la to the welcome to las vegas sign emphasis on welcome to las vegas sign it wasn't to uh, las vegas it was to the welcome to las vegas sign which it really hit me at the end of it because i was mad mad um because it's like yeah you hit vegas and it's like yeah i made my goal and then it's like no you still have like five to ten miles more more to go girlfriend like hustle up um so yeah i like applied um and like initially i didn't get in and this is like no shade to like anybody but i think it's definitely like a story to tell like initially i didn't get in and it was rightfully so because they were like one who are you two like where's your experience three this is dangerous you need to have like x amount of like mileage under your belt which i totally agree um but yamir being yamir i'm like uh excuse me no um so i quickly did reach back out to them and kind of was just basically like i'm aware of what i'm signing up for let me in you know um and i was sassy i can admit that um but i was very correct um and i don't know what happened but i was just very much like you tell me no today this year but i'm applying every year after that until you let me in so you're stuck with me um so i think i don't know who the the angels in the back end ended up uh telling me yes you can get in and i found out like literally during christmas time which i didn't have much training time compared to like other people um so from basically january 1st to march 25th i had to like quickly uh change my 
training habits and all these things to train for an ultra marathon <laughs> like the like largest one that i've done the largest one that a lot of people have done um and i think it might be one of the like larger in my language um compared to the ones that i've like seen um within the community so with that being said um you know found out trained all this good stuff um the training was fun it was interesting it was great um I definitely do have to make like a lot of more modifications but it's more like on the technical side um i didn't train as much as like what other like proper pros do um i didn't really have like a run coach or anything but i definitely did have the mental mindset of saying i want to finish this i want to do this i really want to prove it to myself that i can do it but i also kind of want to be like mm, like girls rule boys drool type thing um you know the race started in the last week of march we started um i had a great support system a, a great support team um which com com compromise comprised compiled i don't know the proper word uh which kind uh basically everyone from my team had some kind of affiliation with the uh running group that i run with and everyone had a vast vast variety of different um experiences and everyone was uh carefully curated uh so we can all use our strengths and weaknesses together um and i think it was like the perfect group that i could have had um for them i totally understand it was probably tough because they've never really been around me for so long um besides like you know like the tuesday runs or like the saturday long runs but they had not been around me to like kind of see like how your mirror functions and like all these like little things so it was definitely a learning experience for them but also you know a learning experience for me and kind of like figuring out the extremes of like what my body can take and all that good stuff um throughout the race um i did i i feel like i well i did mention you know throughout social media and all that good stuff but i wasn't formal about it and i do apologize but there's gonna be more coming i promise um and uh you know a few friends and things like that did like track me along the way like check in and all that good stuff so i think you know maybe like making like a formal thing next time and really like making it part of the community uh it would be like more like inclusive to you all to kind of like dive into a completely different community and kind of live vicariously vicariously um through like a process like this um <clears throat> definitely i had a strategy um and like we did have conversations about the strategy and things like that things were modified things changed blah 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 which is great um and um you know we kind of went along with the punches it wasn't perfect but it was perfect especially for someone that was like doing that extent of mileage for the first time and all that good stuff and i did have to remember a lot of times to give myself grace because a year before i was not even running that much mileage um uh the first no after like the second day or something like that like i really got sick um but i had to like the the like i was not <laughs> i was not quitting so i was just like we gonna have to figure it out i'm gonna have to drag my my coffin along the 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 road but i'm not quitting so um that was like an interesting portion for them to kind of like navigate like okay like what how do we how do we work through that um but again like the team was amazing we had like a mix of different people people who have run that like distance or have done that format type of race one of them actually is a doctor so that was like a great thing and they um actually had like their medical training you know and 
and make like actual medical like decisions and all that good stuff which was like super helpful because it just got to one point where i was just like you're responsible for everything all i'm doing is just moving like make the decisions blah 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 blah, blah. like you know and it was great um which pre-planning actually helped but it was like really um interesting to see how they would uh come convene together to come up with a decision and there were like a lot of times where like i was deceased somewhere and i can hear them making decisions for me but i couldn't like function and like it was it was cute it was cute um and i really like appreciate that but um yeah like the process was great it was fun um i really did have like a lot of time to like think to myself and all that good stuff even though um i was with them the whole time there was just one portion of the race i think maybe like 10 to 20 miles where i ran it by myself like without anyone like basically it was like here's your point we're we're splitting off here and we'll meet you in like 10 20 miles um <clears throat> I'm sorry that was the only time I was by myself but regardless of that like all these guys uh and they were all males um all these guys literally split up the mileage with me um a lot of the times like there were like two of them that did I wish I would have tracked the mileage like I'm pretty sure they did close to 100 miles with me um, I know one for sure did a hundred, at least a hundred miles with me. He, um, they like paced me along the whole way. So it was just very much like an interesting process because, you know, like mentally I'm thinking about like all these things and I'm like having like these enlightenment moments and really thinking about, you know, like how I'm figuring out my life and what I'm going to do when I come back home and all these good things, but also, <coughs> a bonding experience with you know people that i met like a year ago um which was awesome uh there were like a lot of amazing views unfortunately like i wish i would have been able to post more i didn't post at all um and i think it was mainly because at first i was like oh yeah like i'm gonna post but i don't know what the heck i'm walking myself into um and quickly I figured it out like oh yeah this is like legit um and I just chose to just keep my head down and be more like silent about things and just kind of like go through the motions get from point a to point z in one piece which I did get there in one piece but like a few screws were like loose and all that good thing all those good things but um I chose to not really like publicly talk much about it um because it was just very new to me like it was a very very new experience and i think like one now that i did this like i can go about all the other ones in a completely different way because like this distance to me is just like yeah that's fine i did it um which yeah like i i did not like i had to like put my head down and focus but um i think the team was very good about communicating that back to like a really small group chat of people it was literally like two people from my like friends here in new york city where we travel a lot together and like two people from the stitcher community and that was all and i was just like you guys can relate the message be messages because i physically can't function um but it was great to see like all the text messages like kind of coming through like on my watch even though i wasn't answering to them um but like i did see them and then it was just funny because like one of them because athena being mama bear um they were like tracking my phone and like i'm running and like you know i'll, I'll feel the notifications and kind of like look here and there and like i see like a notification i just so happen to see a notification from athena pop up on my phone and she's like to your left is uh something with like ha uh, harry potter like kingdom or whatever or universal or i can't remember don't don't 
don't yell at me but she's like oh to your best and i'm like of, to your left i'm like of course like and i'm like running and like laughing because i'm like this is like great like i'm getting like a virtual tour i'm actually like physically here i know that my friends are like looking and tracking and like asking questions and all that good stuff but all in all it was fun it was great um definitely uh you know I, I i finished in one piece but you know i did have like a few like injuries and things like that but i think in regards to the like injuries portion um i think it really boils down to and this is for everybody um if you have any inkling inkling that might be the word right um of hey something doesn't feel right whether you know whatever part of your body i think you need to listen to your gut feeling um and this trans transfers to like anything ever in life i think if you don't really listen to yourself and advocate for yourself it's gonna be a problem um for me um i had a fall in like november of last year which my knees were like me and then, um, but they were great. I still could run, but you know, I kind of, it, it wasn't as like how it was prior. Then fast forward to in January, there was, excuse me, there was a race that I had. Um, and like after, I, I remember I was just hanging out, just chatting with my friends and I was just standing like in a weird um, way. And I remember how, like, I rolled my ankle a little bit, but it wasn't like, ow, it hurt. Like, it was just kind of like a little pinch. But then I was just, you know, it was just like, oh, yeah, like, you know, like, let me stand properly. Because the shoes that I was wearing, they were like a little, like, uh, movie. Uh, they moved around a little bit, per se, if that makes sense. Like, very cushiony. Like, I can kind of, like do this type thing um i did feel the pinch but it wasn't like anything bad the following day i was fine i ran like no issues um but like you know i just would feel the pinch here and there throughout training but it wasn't like nothing um fast forward to you know i started in i started the start line and i wasn't honest with myself about like scanning okay like you know knees are great back is great feet are great or whatever um i really was just like i'm ready to go i'm here you know um and that's kind of like what flared up um throughout the whole race you know which kind of like really slowed me down and all that stuff but it also really pushed me to like this is how much pain i can tolerate type thing um but you know overall it was just very much like a true example of if you feel something in the beginning you need to address it you need to like really not think about it you know um you really not need you you need to address it and not just put it in the back of your head because you know months later years later is probably going to like flare up and then it's like oh my god i wish i had like xyz diagnosis years ago like all these years like all these symptoms have been like there and i haven't been paying attention to it um <clears throat> i went down a rabbit hole with that one um but yeah like it was just very much of like okay like whatever issue or like offness that i feel with my body whether it's like on a running side or just like in general like i really need to like address it and think about it and like kind of like really get to the bottom of it of just being like oh instead of just being like oh yeah like whatever and continue because that really did did impact and um i think across the board like in our everyday life um you know we tend to put ourselves on the back burner because we're busy we're doing this we're doing that and then sometimes it's i don't want to say sometimes it's too late but sometimes it's just kind of like falls in the like i wish i would have saw this sooner so that's kind of my ploy to you like you know get you know go to your yearly physicals or do like everything that you need to do because you know sometimes we like really put things in the back burner um 
but yeah that's kind of like what kind of like happened with me uh i'm trying to like figure out like what things um happen a lot because a lot happened and i was fully conscious on everything but also like very like delusional um but yeah like pretty much and I, the the race pretty much obviously like i said it, it's a point a to point z or point b uh race and you pretty much get there however you want to create your route you pretty much get there um on your own two feet you can have as many people to support you along the way um you pretty much do have a deadline but not really um <clears throat> and throughout the whole process like they're tracking you they do like updates on like okay like your mirror is like five miles away from vegas or 10 miles away from vegas or whatever so you can kind of see where everyone is you bump into people like at the same time there were other um i did the solo version which i started on monday and then they had a relay portion which was like groups separate the distance um and so they would do like six eight people depends on how many people and they divide the distance amongst each other meaning i do five miles you do five miles she does five miles and then continue doing it like you know down the line until you finish um but i did the like solo portion so it was great to kind of like and they started on friday if i'm not mistaken because usually it'll take them like 48 hours 36 hours like 20, 24 to like 48 hours or 50 hours to like finish versus like for us that we're doing it by ourselves it took us like about 100 150 hours to like finish it um work emails um but like it was great to bump into like other crews and things like that because like you get to see like you know like other teams because sometimes it gets like lonely but it was great towards the ending of the week to like bump into people like i saw people that i had been following for a while well groups that i had been following for a while saw groups from like new york and all that good stuff people and then it's just also like the sense of community like you don't know like we don't know each other aside from like our own like pods but like you you follow each other on social media you see each other's story like you're like hey you're doing a good job like blah 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 so it was just really really great um at the end i did finish which was like super fun um i did it for all of us um and that was like something that i really did emphasize like you know i'm coming from you know a community multiple communities where our sole job is kind of to like sit whether it's like sit and stitch sit and be on the computer you know for work and like all these things so it's not about like you have to be in shape to like do this you really you know as long as you want to do it and you believe that you can do it you'll be able to do it and that was kind of like really like my motto across the whole way and i really i'm glad i was able to like finish it because um you know it was something that needed to be done um especially now there's like a lot of room on the table if you can read between the lines to really have like a lot of like meaningful conversations which i'm super happy about um but yeah like that was kind of like the whole like la to las vegas uh recap vibes situation um i am definitely gonna do it again uh I do have plans to do more uh, throughout the year, but definitely the LA to Las Vegas portion. I want to do it next year, um, mainly just to like change the uh, execution technique strategy per se, um, and just kind of see what more of a difference can I make there. Um, but with that being said, um, in June 30th, I believe there is a race in berlin um it's about a 75 mile race so um i'm gonna be in berlin <laughs> so if you if anybody is in berlin lives in berlin or has any suggestions let me know i would love to hear your input on that i do want to visit like stitchy shops and things like that um i did reach out to one um that i thought 
had an actual shop and they were like no i just work out of home like whatever so i'm like yeah you know i'm not gonna like invite myself to your house um so i need to like find um stitchy shops and things like that so if you have any recommendations let a sister know um and then um that's for june uh there is one in august which i'm gonna do as a relay portion um and just do it with like my team but then there's one in november well november is going to be a busy one um the large one in november is like bad <laughs> but we're doing it we're doing it i i have the chicago marathon coming up the new york city marathon but then also i have this like brace where i'll be running in the actual desert like i mean i did run in the mojave desert this time around but i will be in like the hottest desert in the world and all that good stuff so definitely starting to train up again um and there hopefully um we can figure out other strategies uh but with that being said um i am working on figuring out a way to really be um inclusive and bringing the stitchy community into the running community and i'm not gonna tell you to run but i mean why can't you just do running stitches per se uh why can't you stitch do like one of those like stitching challenges per se uh while you all watch and you know like we we run and stuff like that so i might do a floss pack a chart or something um uh i don't know <laughs> i don't know but i need to like figure that out and especially because uh, these races are expensive um sidebar i've i pay for these by myself um i feel like every year i try to get my kitchen done I'm like, uh, oh, never mind, like, forget it. Like, I'll spend my money on something else. Like, the first time my mom died, so I'm like, great, like, all that money's going there. Uh, and then, like, obviously, like, TSP and all that good stuff. But, um, you know, I think coming back home after this process, like, really did um, change a lot, change my views on things. I really needed it um but you know with that being said you know obviously came back home and had to what the heck i don't know like i just feel like they like to like reach out at specific times um definitely came back home obviously had to take a longer break than what i expected because yeah like hello i couldn't even like move but i still had to move because i had to go to work and all that good stuff but i did have like a lot of like reflecting time and all that good stuff so um now i'm just kind of like really like rejuvenated and like what is going on um i feel like very rejuvenated and um full of like strategy whether it's like running cross stitch and all that good stuff which is why full circle to close i wasn't expecting for this to be that long but which is why full circle to close up the loop um why i'm very like excited about StitchCon this weekend and all that stuff because it really kind of like seals everything um you know i came off of like all of this training like you know for like three almost four months and then you know throughout the training i had market literally had like three weeks to basically like recover which i did not went straight into that um did did what i did and then you know like i had to like fall back a bit but now i'm just kind of like inspired to like share a lot of colors that um i saw which by the way um i was running obviously in the mojave desert and all this good stuff and it's a dry dry like the middle of nowhere just just concrete dead dry cracked pavement and out of these cracks so many flowers were growing in different areas and i was just like 
ain't nobody planting these so how are they getting it and pretty flowers like purples and like oranges and all this stuff and i was just like i'm too tired and in pain to like stop and take photos but what the heck like i was just like this is so pretty and like imagine like nobody's touching it like it's left alone and it really got me to thinking like how the land would is probably way different than before we touch it and like develop on it and all this stuff and i was just like how, how did you get here nobody planted you so like what happened like obviously pollinators and all that good stuff but it was just very interesting to see um but yeah like i'm like i said i'm super excited to be back home obviously going through like another starting up another like training block um and you know coming up with like plans to like really like merge both communities together don't worry i'm not gonna make you run but you know like really like leverage um you know just you watching people do whatever and you getting your like stitching done and all that good stuff and you know having an awesome project coming out of it i don't know maybe like vote on your own project during like stitching runs i don't know um but definitely i'm excited to like really leverage that portion um not leverage bridge these two worlds because they although they're like the total opposites they do definitely uh work hand in hand and it's like so random um if you watch the olympics you 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 if you love watching the olympics then this is for you um mainly because you're watching like other like events and things like that um but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about um this race per se because um it was a lot to digest um i feel like if i think about other things to like bring up i will but um yeah i think the moral of the story is don't tell people that they can't do things um, because sometimes you underestimate and you just never know what they're capable of. One, two, listen to yourself, your intuition, um, and address <clears throat> any uh, weird feelings with your body or whatever, because 99% of the time you're right. Um, and don't let no one tell you that. And then like three, I think, you know, definitely um, joining a platform and a community where I can uh, represent my sub communities has been amazing because I feel like we haven't had a voice in a while. So I'm very excited to, <coughs> excuse me, do the work. Besides that, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all i oh wait i didn't realize um this was like one of the races that i did i'm trying to remember when did i get it that it, they give it to me before oh yeah yeah they did give it to me before the race but it was like a night race a woman's only race and all that good stuff which um these are like things that you know i'm really passionate about um but yeah like it's 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 really gonna be good it's gonna be great it's an awesome summer coming up with like a lot of like releases and things and um i'm just excited to like stitch more um i am definitely gonna pack a good kit for this weekend so i can actually function properly um and really spend time with friends and you know 300 other stitchers or 299 other stitches um and really um jump back into this because that was something that um i really took like a back burner and it, and it hurt like it really did hurt um it does hurt to see other people stitching and not me because i have like other like commitments and stuff like that so now that i'm able to like balance it out and all that good stuff i'm excited um but yeah that's pretty much it um i don't think i'm gonna talk more about the race or races until like you know things come up um mainly because i think you know i think i sort of addressed it 
um if you have any like specific questions in regards to like this race or w things like that let me know reach out like i'm happy to like chat about it but um yeah i think um the most that you'll probably hear is like during race during the race portions and things like that like obviously you'll see me posting more um but um besides that i i think we're good on that portion um they need to stop calling me they need to relax um but yeah i think we're good on that um like i said i'm going to figure out a way maybe maybe we can make this decision over StitchCon. if you're gonna be on StitchCon. Let me know, let me know your thoughts and chime in on this like topic on how to really um, include you all and do it. Um, some of the races are four or five days long. Some of the races are three hours long. Some of the races are an hour long and some of the races are like 24 hours long. So how do we get that portion going? So um, yeah, yeah, I need to figure that out. But um, yeah, I'm excited okay i'm done i'm blabbing and i really haven't had a lot of the coffee um i actually do feel it and i feel like i'm gonna have to well i'm definitely gonna have to chug this before i go to work um because i need to go soon but yeah that's that i hope you have a great week i will see you on monday actually to do a formal floss tube slash stitch con recap blah 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 um and yeah we're gonna be fully back in today i have like 15 packages that are going out before stitch con um so i can be at peace over the weekend and not be stressed out that i owe people things uh some of them are like very very delayed other ones are uh questionable but everything is going to be cleared out by tomorrow i might have to like actually travel with it and mail it like put it in the mailbox when i land uh in ohio so we will see about that okay